look at me filming again so if this ever makes it to air just mean i can call myself a youtuber once again <laughs> jokes i use humor a lot um not such a great one today actually we seem to be um going sort of forward and back forward and back um he's um second round of chemo hasn't started yet because he's just not i don't think he's well enough um, and he's got another infection which has come which is now in his throat and if he'd said to me that i would use video to try and regulate how i'm feeling i'd have been as shocked as you and yet here we are i felt compelled to pick up the camera so that's it really another day although i did get the bus into truro today which was quite good truro is actually quite nice i wasn't sure what to expect um but just because i'd heard various things but um it was lovely and so easy to get to that park and ride is amazing so two pound 40 all day and you can use it as much as you like and i can use it to get to the hospital as well um and they have motorhome park in there as well not overnight but during the day so that's good let's see what the rest of this week brings i just i'm just getting bored now i just want him home i want him better and i want him home <laughs> but we go with it at least i get to see him every day which is awesome Right, I just realised I'm wearing the same jumpers I was wearing last time. Does anyone else get that? You kind of just wash and wear the same few things when you live like this, but anyway. I'm back, time to feed the rabble, move my stove. I bought myself this little camping stove to try and help me save on LPG, because obviously while I'm sat in one place, every little helps. So let's do... Do the girls food because they are all absolutely outraged that it's foodie time and their dinner is 40 minutes late yet again Right, girls fed, sorted, litter tray's done. Now I can chuck my dinner in. I know you haven't been out. Chuck some, chucked a little comfort meal in the air fryer. Chicken dippers and salt and pepper chips, if you will. <laughs> Cause that's just quick and easy and it's just what I fancied. I'll tell you what, between sort of going to see John, running errands for him, obviously now that he's kind of wearing clothes and stuff a little bit more, um, sorting the motorhome out, keeping the girls up together, trying to sort out all our logistics because obviously all our plans had to change last minute as we're here now. I haven't got time to sit and overthink, which is probably quite a good thing. So I'll probably just leave you there and yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Right, today is a new day. Yesterday wasn't great and it's getting harder and harder leaving him in hospital. I mean, obviously I know I've been away and been on trips and stuff, but we've never, yeah, never been apart like this before certainly not out of our control not for this long as well but there we go um we just got a crack on so chore day so i need to go and take the laundry which is what i've got on my back go and do a service wash thanks to darren for that i totally see the appeal because <laughs> it just saves so much time especially at the moment where i feel like i don't have a lot of time just running around all the time but that's fine so yeah i'm gonna cycle to the laundrette get that done then I've got to do some work this afternoon. Really got to try and get back into that. Try and get this ticking over back into that. And then uh, it'll be time to go and see John Boy again later on.
Oh, and it's hot, but then I've also got my bag because I think I'm just going to go straight to the hospital after this rather than keep going forward and coming back. God, I'm knackered. I wanted to go for a little nap with John this afternoon when he does. Oh, just look at, think of all the solar I'm getting though and all the exercise, which should help burn off the three cheesy hash browns and egg I just ate. I need the energy. So here we are in what is nowadays my glamorous office where I sit and work whilst John's in bed. <sighs> this is worst places to be. Uh, hopefully you can hear me right with the mask and everything. Uh, so new chemo seems to be going all right. They're just about to do another blood transfusion. Well, they call it that, it's not like a whole replacement. But it's giving more blood and hopefully he's having his second injections today for chemo. So, fingers crossed. Here he is. He's actually got clothes on today. Yeah. How you doing, baby? All right. You feel rough. You've been through it. But at least I get to come and see you every day. Yes. And you're eating now, which makes me really happy. And I'll catch up with you later. Um, looks like, what did you order? Vegetable bolognese. Right, I'll leave you to eat that. <sighs> right, I am back. Right, it was a big day. I am shattered. So, I'm not that hungry tonight. Um, so, I'm having some of the um, cream tea that Joe bought me. I'm having a scone. Um, and because I was... Um, in no uncertain terms, I was threatened. If I didn't put the jam on first, I'd have, what did it say? A load of angry Cornish grannies chasing me with rolling pins. And I do not want that. That's something I don't need in my life. And I don't want to offend anybody. So I've done as instructed and I've put the jam first. And it's bloody lovely. I toasted the, um, toasted the scones first as well. And that was really nice and i don't normally i don't like raisins most people know i don't like bogeys um but actually in the scheme of things it's all fine it's all good and it's absolutely delicious i think that's it for another day the girls are outside they've all been fed and fingers crossed john goes all right on his second day of chemo today so i'll find out um tomorrow morning how that went oh good morning ah oh, so it's national cream tea day today um got to look forward to little things at the moment so I'm buzzing for that I'm gonna uh, I've got a work call this morning just making my morning coffee on my little camping stove then um, I'm off to the hospital pick up the boxes from reception and so I have not long wake up um, and then me and John can have our little cream tea date and then uh, later tonight uh, my mum and stepdad are coming down <laughs> oh um, which is just so lovely um, they're coming all the way down and they'll be here till Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. It should be really good fun. So I'm just going to make my coffee and then we'll get cracking. Well, after my call, we'll get cracking to the hospital. Da. So I've just signed up to the hospital, just picked up the cream teas. I'm just going to get all gloved and aproned up and all that. And then I'm going to go in and see the boy. Right, let's have a look and see what's in this cream tea. Ready for an unboxing. So, as I was saying, we've got two plain scones, two jams, a cream, and two teas. Plus, obviously, the instrument. It's pretty good for £6. Pretty happy with that. So, I've got one for each of us if he's up for it. And I've just got to figure out how to eat it through this. Now they take it very seriously here. The big question is, jam or cream first? So during the week, I had another cream tea, the one that Joe gave me, and obviously I tried both, but it got very heated in our DMs about what to do. So Johnny, what are you gonna do? Do it however it comes. Do it however it comes. Mm. So he's gone cream first, so the people of Cornwall will not be happy. But I don't think he really cares right now. <laughs> what are you thinking? 
messy, but... It is a bit messy. So, can confirm, Chase Water Bakery, this place here, put together an absolutely outstanding cream tea. The scones were delicious. I'm guessing it's their own scones. Um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And because we were towards the end of the session, we've got extra cream. <laughs> so yeah, thumbs up for National Cream Tea Day. And that is a wrap on National Cream Tea Day. Um, that was lush. I'm so glad I did that. And it was lovely for us to actually feel like we were doing something together. So yeah, I'm just about to, uh, I've just got in, freshened up, and I'm gonna go and meet my dad, uh, sorry, my mum and my stepdad uh, for dinner, which I'm really excited about to see them because they've driven down all the way from Hampshire. Thanks very much for watching, if you did, if you made it this far, and yeah, catch you next time. I'm still rusty on YouTube and I've got no idea what to say here, so I'll just say bye.